In this video, I'm going to have a closer look at Caspa. Caspa is a very interesting layer one blockchain that is proof of work and uses some interesting consensus mechanisms when you can have parallel blocks. So the coin itself uh, started last year, 2022, so in the midst of a, of a bear market. And I'm going to show you what it's becoming and how many developments were made in this time in the last year. So the overview is pretty much here fastest open source decentralized fully scalable layer one uh, with the world's first block DAG, a digital ledger enabling parallel blocks and instant transaction confirmation. So what I find interesting is uh, definitely having parallel blocks at the same time and what's happening with them uh, when they get um, uh, when they get accepted. Uh, this is interesting because you can have those parallel blocks and then they are getting sorted later on. Uh, so you can have in existence multiple blocks at the same time. Uh, this is taking the idea of Bitcoin and uh, going forward with that. Uh, the coin itself was fair launched. So this is also interesting because uh, th this is a similar idea from Bitcoin. So no pre-mining, no pre-allocation, uh, everything was open. And generally speaking, it was coming from people uh, building firstly on Bitcoin and then taking the ideas to uh, launch their own layer one, uh, which is really great. Block time, one second, pretty fast. Uh, ticker, cast, you have it on most of the exchanges. Probably the link will be down below to the, in the description to where you can find it and buy the coin if you want to. Uh, then you have the hashing algorithm, K-heavy hash. Uh, this is the technical, and generally speaking, this is very technically oriented. So uh, actually it gives me good vibes because they don't really want to have those uh, bombastic statement, uh, statements. This, uh, this blockchain is built particularly with developers in mind and with people technically oriented in general. So uh, this is generally good vibes uh, from my perspective. But of course, always do your own research. This is not a financial advice, only educational purpose. Uh, so you can see uh, here, what they're doing. Uh, they have this uh, ghost DAC protocol uh, that uh, they have implemented. This kind of protocol allows them to have blocks in parallel uh, that allows them to uh, coexist and then order them in consensus. So this is a block DAC rather than a blockchain. Uh, DAC refers to actually a directed graph. Uh, so this is also very interesting concept of taking blockchain idea further. So instead of having uh, blocks that are connected to each other, you have actually an uh, orientation on the graph. And this is really mind blowing to some extent because it shows you how many possibilities there are, uh, even if you start thinking about fundamental issues at hand. So I really like that stuff here uh, that I'm seeing. So let's have a look at some of the uh, other things. Of course, they want to solve mostly for scalability, security uh, and uh, decentralization. This is what they're doing basically. Uh, you can uh, right now get a wallet, of course, uh, in Caspa, and they getting uh, they just getting listed on the hotbeat. That was uh, basically today as the, as of the date of recording. So they are being really active. Uh, Gate uh, listing was last week. They had also listing on Maxi. So all the links will be down below in the description. As you can see, uh, most of the exchanges uh, are. Uh, listed here. So they are building the steam definitely. Uh, if you go into developments, you'll be able to see what they've been, what they creating right now. A uh, huge thing is actually rewriting Caspa. So they started originally with Golang and they trying to rewrite everything in Rust. Uh, this is being done by the developer Michael Sutton. And this will boost performance in Caspa uh, in general uh, speed uh, and uh, other nice features coming from Rust itself. So Rust is really a, a great language, uh, as you might know, for, for different smart contracts uh, and different versions of Rust are used either by Solana, this is pure Rust, or uh, Aptos, we, they, all, they all use some kind of version of Rust, which is really great for that. So as you can see, there's the whole plan of development uh, going forward. And it's really interesting because uh, it makes sense and uh, they want to actually build some great technology and building in, uh, in this open mode where they post about uh, their findings is really great. So uh, you can see the, the about Caspa. As you can see, this is mostly technical, proof of work mining. Uh, you, you can see, read more about the um, 
the, the trilemma they're solving. You can read more about Ghost Deck as well, uh, the, the version of what they're doing. Uh, and finally, you can see the vision and tokenomics as well as contribu contributors uh, building, the, building the chain. So uh, their vision is basically taking the original idea of uh, Satoshi Nakamoto of Bitcoin and developing that further. Uh, so really great stuff. Uh, for Caspa, we look to silver, which presented a different trade of versus gold. gold. Uh, in the original Aramaic de text, uh, silver was historically, historically treated as less precious than gold, but more circulative, less valuable, yet more acceptable was payment. And this is the idea of Caspa. Uh, you can look at the tokenomics as well uh, here for the project. Uh, and see how the emissions are going uh, to go forward. Um, the scale here, here is in months, so, and the total max supply is 28 billion, uh, billion coins uh, in total. So fair launch in November 2021 with no pre-mine, zero pre-sales, no coin allocation, uh, and uh, they have been mining the, the Caspas. You can see pretty much similar emission schedule to Bitcoin actually, so pretty standard one. Uh, and here are the news. So finally, let's get into contributors as well to check it out. You can see the founders. Uh, the, the founder is Jonathan Sampolinski. Uh, he also created uh, Dag Labs, uh, and there's a bunch of uh, core developers also building the, the whole thing. So really cool stuff. I really like what they're doing. I really like that uh, they are pretty low profile and actually they care more about technology than uh, the actual hype, which is great uh, for, for the long term of the project, for the longevity of the, the idea. So definitely looking forward to what comes out of Caspa. Of course, uh, this is not a financial advice. Always do your research, especially that I think Caspar recently, uh, because of those different listings, pumped like 10.